other thing, things I think we wanted to maybe take a look at is the whole idea of some of the big, I guess, glamorous ideas from quantum physics. Mm-hmm. Like uh, uh, one is the uh, the idea of superposition and yeah. uh, the the idea that uh, uh, the the other thing, the uh, uncertainty principle, where uh, we really don't know where a particle is. We can only predict where a particle might be until we observe it and then it seems like it collapses to where it it is in that place that's really hard for a lay person to understand it's certainly hard for me to comprehend so so before we dive into the deep pool of, of quantum mechanics it's helpful to remind people that the universe is under no obligation to make it easy for you to understand right <laughs> that's one of the that's one of my favorite quotes uh, one of my other favorite quotes is the universe is not only stranger than we know it's stranger than we can know mm-hmm. and i think both of those things are you know those are good statements to to dwell on a little bit before we jump into quantum mechanics so the the chandra sekar limit where you couldn't put two electrons in the same place at the same time and the oppenheimer volkoff limit where you couldn't put in two neutrons in the same place at the same time both have their roots in quantum mechanics which basically says this we, we think of in our macroscopic world, in our big picture world that we experience in daily life, we think about the fundamental uh, objects that we want to measure as particles. They're little, you know, like we can break everything down to smaller and smaller billiard balls, right. so to speak, right? And we tend to think of atoms and molecules as being made out of those billiard balls. But the truth is that a whole new branch of physics was required to really help us to understand what's happening at the atomic and subatomic levels. And that's quantum mechanics. And in quantum mechanics, the basic, uh, the basic entity of existence is not particles, but it's waves. Everything can be described as waves. Now we say, we, we have a different word for that in quantum mechanics. We call that the, the, the state function. It's the state function that really describes all of all of reality, all of all of existence. And so these wave functions, which make up our understanding of, of particles, shows us that part the, what we measure as particles in our macroscopic world are just manifestation of these underlying wave functions. Hence the experiment that showed showed light as both waves and particles. Exactly. And so it's not that light is a wave sometimes and a particle other times. It's just that depending on how we measure it, we see particle-like properties or wave-like properties. I've never heard that explained. Yeah. That's fascinating. So that, that really is the clears, makes that a lot more clear. 